investigation of the Gilson Road Cemetery. This was a daytime investigation, um, hoping to get a uh, basic sweep of the um, the area, but we did not expect to capture uh, what we ended up capturing. So uh, here we go. Now we got there around 5.30 in the afternoon and we stayed for about 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, look. Oh, here's a child's plot with toys all around it. Like, look, you can see there's other markers yeah. that should be here. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. So the legend with this is that these are, this is a family plot, like this was, or in this area. Like, there's a Gilson plot over there. Now, during this interview with Michelle, um, if you look on the top left corner of the screen, you'll notice a little blip could be an uh, insect or it could be an orb um, by the stone wall in the darker area to the left. Um, shoot out as she says spirits. Um, at the same time my EMF detector uh, beeps for the first time since um, appearing at the at the cemetery. So uh, keep watching. Archaeological digs. You find Indian arrowheads, you find artifacts all over the place. Um, so this area is kind of similar. Indians lived in this area. And the whole idea was the Catholic priests, you know, they created the cemetery and they sanctified the four corners, you know, priced with the blood of Christ, you know, very, um, you know, it's Christian based. So the cemetery is sanctified and protected. They like blessed the area. And the legend is though on the outskirts of the lore, legend but the lore is that on the outskirts of the wall you know the Indian spirits who okay now there it went why as soon as I said the Indian spirits that starts beeping um, we're at four I think I have to calibrate this okay so that's the the, the thing that the, in the American Indian souls they're still here, kind of upset, and they kind of lurk around, and they'll, you know. And it's unfortunate, like this, we used to call this the pits. None of this was here. This was all woods. You could go off in here, go trailing, like if you had a dirt bike or something. Um, you'd see deer back here all the time. Um, it's all getting urbanized, you know, all these McMansions. So there's noise, you know, there's traffic. Now here, uh, we enhance the audio so you can hear what we believe to be a no or a hello. Hey babe, do you have your phone on you? Can you start taking pictures? Yeah, right. And here's another child's plot. That's a Gilson. Why is there a hole through it? Oh, five years old. Mm -hmm. Let's see, there's a hole in the tombstone. Which, uh, is that the corner over there? This corner. No. Now this corner is, is said to be the most haunted area of the uh, cemetery. I, I think it's just the fact that it's more secluded, it's more in the back, 
and the yeah. wall is not there to protect in the corner. That was a marker. Yep, so there is. I mean, it was really dark, so I didn't walk all the way over here because I was kind of crazy. So it's all psychological. Oh, and stuff. Because this tree comes up over, and it's damn near being, look at all the dead. So this is coming over, and I was standing. But well, what we did capture um, to the right side, when I start panning the cemetery, you'll see two orbs or insects, up to you, shoot up what seems to be from the stone wall in this area, but the next time I shoot it, so right here. If you look to the right, there's one, and there's the other. Now the significance of this rock, we found it eerie, just because it had little rocks buried into the ground around it. The milligauss reading on my EMF detector is not something that I can take seriously for future investigations. On this side, it's as it's like off it's my tablet, so it's side, just an app. It's in the 530s. But it is quite compelling when we are talking to Michelle and right when she says spirits we catch we capture either an insect or an orb right. fly right by and so it beeps for the first time Now, I'm not really aware of the significance of this headstone. It just seemed weird that it was the only one that was almost touching the rock wall. And as you can wow. see, there are coins on the top of the headstone. You'll also notice all the insects flying around this one area. There were insects everywhere else, oh. but this seemed to be the only place oh, yeah, that they were flying right into the camera. All right. All right, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and um, maybe we'll have something else later.